welcome to Power and Motion YouTube channel. Today, this video, I'm gonna talk about fat bike. It's a beautiful day in November, so I'm riding this uh, Norco Sasquatch fat bike that we just got. So before I jump right into the talk about the, the Norco fat bike, what I want to do is uh, provide you some history and uh, what is a fat bike as well. So basically, a fat bike is built on top of a Y, extra wide tire. So uh, what I have here is actually a, a 26 by 4.8 tire. And the trend has actually started in Alaska. Some bike builders say, hey, what can we do to continue to ride in the winter? So what they have done is they basically taken two 26 inch rim, welded together into a one giant rim. They, they discovered that you can get a lot more traction having a wider tire. The trend move into Minnesota. One particular company, Surly, came out with a, a production bike called Puxley. They were the grandfather of the fat bike and they were the first one that actually created the production fat bike. So what I have here is the Norco 6.2 2016 model Sasquatch. This is the newer model that came out uh, from Norco. And one of the big differences, they're basically following the new trend of uh, all the fat bike uh, coming onto the market. So right from the start, the fun hub space is 150 and then 197 hub space at the back. That will basically allow you to accommodate bigger tire. The newer standard of the uh, bigger tire is uh, 26 by 4.8. So these particular bike will be able to accommodate a uh, 4.8 inch tire. And the brick is hydraulic brick, it's uh, Avid DB5. And I really, really like it to give me a lot of good stopping power. And uh, going on to the fun fork, so it's a through axle fork. Uh, so it makes it very strong and uh, very easy to remove um, the, the, the wheel set. And the fork is actually carbon fork. So on the transmission, you have a one by 10, so which makes it very easy to shift. Uh, you don't have to go to the left side or the right side, just basically focusing on one side to do all your shifting. So a lot of people ask me, who would, ride, who would use this kind of a uh, bike? Well, th there are basically three or four different type of uh, customer that use this kind of uh, type of bike. The first type of is the uh, backpacker or the adventure rider. Uh, where you're actually taking the bike to the back country and travel for a couple of days staying and camping and uh, so with the fat tire and uh, low pressure you're gonna get a lot more traction so it allow you to get through some of the toughest uh, terrain in the back country the second type of customer will be your uh, typical winter rider uh, commuting to work so I have customer who've been riding all year round but uh, they want to have the safety, they want to have the confidence that they can ride it and without slipping on ice and so forth. So sometimes people will change bike over the winter using the fat bike as a dedicated winter bike. And then the third group of the people is more or less is your beach rider. So, you know, if you go into California, here, here in Canada, we have the Tofino Beach. I would love to ride this bike on Tofino Beach because you can see miles and miles of beach. Uh, with this bike, you won't, your tire won't sink into the sand. A lot of time, what people would do is, if they're gonna ride in the winter time, they will lower the pressure of the tire down to maybe about seven pounds, maybe seven, uh, six or seven pounds to lower the pressure. So then they can almost like absorb the roll much more better and give you spread load and be able to act like a suction cup. So that's why people ride this kind of bike in the winter time. 